Hi, now uh, I want to explain uh, how I am doing the ham studio operation. So I have a camera in front. Just like you are seeing, I have a pointer. So pointer is showing. Uh, here we have a screen and here we have uh, the menu, which is the ham studio menu here is showing uh, on this menu. So this is the environment where I am doing presentation. M Studio has a four scene, uh, which means this is one scene. You see here, this uh, this means the scene I'm I'm working here. So as soon as I I just move the pointer here, uh, if I if I move the pointer here, this one going like this, which means the scene two is coming. So this scene is is the M Studio monitor one and Studio monitor two. So this one is recording and streaming all over the world. And we call this is a uh, screen two. This is a uh, screen one. So in the screen one, you you see the switcher. So there you can change uh, whatever you want. And here is screen two. So screen two also we have a screen here. So whatever you click here, they will show. For example, if I click the tarim, let me try to click tarim, and then this one showing the uh, tarim, and go back to here. They were showing here. Or we'll go back to the screen here. We can have that one, same thing as the monitor one. So now I want to make a PowerPoint on this screen showing what we are trying to explain here. This is just a file. So I just go here, click the mouse, and then PowerPoint slide is coming out. So right now we have a PowerPoint file from the M Studio. And then I can just use for, for this one for next slide, uh, next slide, something like that. So the point time coming here. And then in this here, the, the, the next slide means we can go next slide. So M Studio is a VS uh, Studio mixer, switcher, streaming co and conferencing uh, we can do. So some people thinking what is a streaming? Just uh, streaming to Facebook, streaming to uh, YouTube, or uh, we can uh, output this one to Skype or Zoom. This is what basically we are we are using this M Studio. Not only recording, you can do broadcasting, and also same time you can do conferencing, which means distance presentations like you are watching my video. You can do this one to other Skype people. So uh, th this is uh, any input. It's like you have a monitor input, and you have a, a screen capture. You have a camera input. For example, I have a camera here. Uh, or we can uh, I, I just go to PowerPoint uh, and then I can make a screen tool that I can show the uh, environment which I'm doing now. And this one uh, is the uh, video. So any input, any monitor input, file, Skype, or whatever you can show on this screen. So this is a real mix and switcher. We call this is a telepresent because my presentation is actually better than you come to here to watch my live presentation here. So a remote presentation is anyway better. Okay, so let's uh, see what I'm environment. And then from here, if I make a next slide, if you press next slide, slide coming out like this, automatically showing next slide. So this is a redefining the production switcher. The production switcher so far, as I mentioned, we, we I can click here. So pro production switcher means we have screen one switcher and here we have a screen two switcher here. So anything here we can switch, anything here we can switch. And same time I can switch the scene from here to here. So basically the uh, mixed output scene automatically switching and why you can switch what you want to show on screen one and screen two. That's why we call this is uh, uh, the uh, universal switcher. Let's go back to PowerPoint. So uh, this is the uh, switcher, and then I can uh, defining this is the new production switcher, which is much better than any other things I believe. Let's see the next slide. So first we have to build the studio, I mean the uh, broadcast station, the monitors, controls, everything. It's like I'm doing here, we have a studio building. So uh, the studio building means you need a M studio like this way. You, you built a console, you have to put the monitor, you have to put the camera, and then lighting, and then uh, background, uh, the uh, chroma key. Once you have chroma key, you can do the same thing as like I'm doing, just using the pointer, no operation at all. And then let's go back to the next slide. 
And then once you have this uh, uh, studio, within one hour we believe you can build a studio uh, like I'm doing. And then you have to go to the uh, selection where you uh, load any uh, set I, you are going to use. We already provided many set. The first set is like I'm doing, which is called uh, the uh, VR set, virtual reality. And this one is uh, uh, AR uh, studio. So it means you don't need anything else. Background is uh, just nature. Your room, your uh, other place. As long as you have a good background, this is, uh, looks very beautiful set. You can make like this way. But if you don't have, just use a virtual. Then you need any fabric to have this. So the first step is loading the set. Anything you load, and then you slightly modify to change. So uh, what what I am I am doing here? If I if I show what uh, we are doing here, so for example, I can bring this one, and then uh, on this one I can bring the screen set. So uh, here we we have a, a program uh, setting here. So uh, I will mm -hmm. show what's what's going here. If you click, there is a, a scene I, I select. This is what the background is moving. So if you click this part, like this way, then you will see a lot of background you can select. For example, right now I can I can bring this one. So, for example, maybe I can bring uh, instead of this one, maybe this one to show what the difference is. If you click here, you will see the background is completely changed. So let's go back to our selection, and then this is what uh, we have now, or this is what I used the previous time. Okay, this is the uh, way how you change the background very easily. That way you can do this. Okay, let me go back to the scene setup. And the, from scene setup, you see there is a, a desk, there is a, a wall, so everything is uh, layered and then mixed. So here I'm, I'm selecting some desk to, to show us like I'm, I'm uh, standing uh, with the desk. So that way you can do this. So let's go back to our PowerPoint to see what's going on here. So this is a PowerPoint. I, I go back to the screen. Uh, so PowerPoint is here. You load the set and then we can go. So let's go back to next slide. So it's like I mentioned, we have a uh, four scene. The scene one, scene two, scene three, scene four. Uh, typically I'm, I'm, I'm doing uh, this one with a scene one and scene two big actor. It's like I'm doing now. For example, when you go back to scene two, uh, this is a scene, uh, scene two. And then I can go back to scene one. Scene one is this. Scene one, scene two, and the scene three. That way I, I just set up the scene to use in my presentation. So all the uh, uh, controlling, for example, the two, scene one, scene two, you, you can make uh, any scene because this is mostly for presenters face this is for mostly for presenting material so usually what i'm doing here is uh, between these two for example this scene is a one scene and then i can go to another scene like this so this one and this one basically very similar scene where you can mostly show the powerpoint uh, screen very big and this two thing you can make a program automatic switching between let's say 10 seconds for here, after 10 seconds you can move here. If the mouse is continuously moving, they count to show this one like this way. You see that automatically the scene is moving to here and there, something like that. Same thing, I just make a, this monitor over, make a scene too. And from here, if you keep keep talking, the the speech, whatever the, the, the talking, because this part, there is no way of mouse move. And then this scene is automatically bigger, like this way. You, they concentrate on watching you. And as soon as you move the mouse over here, so if you move uh, this one, they bring uh, this scene. And if you move the mouse over here, it makes it bigger. This is all about uh, controlling automatically. So the next step we have to study is uh, any studio set. You know the studio set for monitor one, background, and actor. You can do this way. Uh, let's go continue. So this this two is uh, uh, what you showing on the screen one. This is what you showing in screen two. So they are basically uh, the from here. I mean this menu are uh, showing that 
uh, whatever you bring from your file or live or application, you just load and then this one can be one of the input to, to change. So this first scene is showing like this. So you can use that scene to have what you selected on this uh, the uh, virtual electric whiteboard. I call this kind of uh, the monitor. This is a uh, screen one, this is screen two, but I call this two is a virtual electric whiteboard because this is uh, basically electric whiteboard where you can show different PowerPoint, different content there. But it is virtual so they can fly to make a different size, uh, animated size, they can do this. So uh, the, uh, the next step, after you have a, a studio, you have to make a chroma key setting. So chroma key setting is the chroma key. So you have to make a camera to select your part. You don't have to select every part. You just make a, yourself with a background to show on your, on your presentation. So chroma key means we do chroma key uh, taking out. Here, we ha it looks a little bit complicated, but anyway, you don't have to worry about it because you just make an auto, auto key, everything will work. And one thing you have to remind is this part uh, is the uh, color range. So, you know, there is a YUV, RGB, this kind of story, which is about the color space. Color space means RGB color. So every uh, pixel from uh, the camera, when you take one camera, there is a 1920 by 1080 HD uh, pixels, which means about 2 megapixels there. Each pixel has uh, RGB color values. So we are trying to show this color value on here. So every color range we can uh, describe on here. So this is a color space, means RGB or Y, brightness and color space. So we normally take uh, this color space here to defining something over here to defining brightness there. So if you are uh, selecting region, the color region or a bright region, you can, you can find this. This is all about the uh, studio we are trying to make this one there. So once you make this one, you, you have a color and you can do. This is a brightness range, you can adjust the slide, which means there is a two slide here. You can adjust brightness and color. So basically, uh, almost everything, if you set up, the auto key will make you very nice chroma key, so you don't have to worry about it. But when you want to make a very complicated, uh, uh, precise setup, you should understand this is a slider, slider you change. Whatever you change, you will understand what's happening there, so you can uh, understand how it works. So next slide means uh, uh, we are, uh, I'm explaining which part is which, so you can understand how it, it works. Uh, after that, uh, we, we have a uh, studio modification and designing part. So basically studio modification we have is uh, basically layered 3D. This is a full 3D engine, which means you can make a wall, you can make a floor, so every layer you can, uh, you can change. Here we have a multiple layer, even uh, monitor and uh, two screens you can use as like a layer, but basically we have a three uh, three uh, uh, layer, which is wall, side, uh, uh, bottom, whatever you can use. Either you can use this one as a desk or a wall, doesn't matter, whatever, the, every layer here you can define to use to build your studio there. So basically what I am doing now is we put the uh, background pictures I show you. After that we put another uh, small picture here to have one more layer in front and then make uh, some, uh, some of the uh, 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 which is called uh, uh, the uh, mixing by Alpha. For example, let me bring the screen here. So on, on this screen, I can, I can show you how we built the studio. So let's bring this uh, setup. Oops, sorry, I just uh, turn on, turn off this one. So I, I minimize, but I can bring this one here. Okay, here we, we have a setup. So let's say setup. So setup screen coming out here. On this setup, uh, as you see, uh, the let's bring this one bigger. In the setup, you can see uh, the uh, menu. So uh, this is the background. So let's go back to uh, program design. And then program design, we, you see we have this picture. And then in front, uh, we just uh, make a, a front view. One second, the mouse is here. In the front, 
I just make uh, uh, the background here, I mean on this background, let's select some pictures. So in the background, I just uh, select uh, something like this. And then uh, if, I, if I make an uh, alpha change, you see the, uh, the alpha here. I mean alpha here. If you, if you take alpha, uh, move, uh, let's say this is a uh, precise control. So. Okay, the slider. No, the slider by using this mouse, not easy. Dragging doesn't work with this mouse. So, uh, whatever you change the picture here, for example, let's bring this one, then you will see something is different. Or uh, I can bring this one to select. Uh, so, the uh, alpha value here uh, slightly moving, and then you will see the picture is mixing like this way. This is how they are working to create the different feeling of studio. Okay, so you will uh, exercise uh, depending on what kind of studio you bring because we are providing enough uh, uh, many uh, 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 slides. So you will see how the nicely you can build the studio by yourself. So all this content we, we are putting in the D content. D content directory has an image and tutorial. So there you can change everything very, very easily, I believe. This is all about the uh, design, so uh, the studio. So we have another adv uh, advanced mode, which means when you make uh, this kind of studio, you make a picture, you have a background, and background you can bring all the pic photos and videos you took from your mobile phone, and then you can make a studio as like you are in front of this kind of a uh, uh, place where you visited. So uh, uh, this is one example how we make a studio. So if you click this one, you will see the uh, video I can play. So here, uh, all this video uh, is looking uh, like they are doing all the presentation there. This is a, a very easy way to show about uh, Sydney and there you can explain what you want to talk just in front of your studio bring your virtual monitor there, something like that. So here, as like I'm doing, you can make a screen one change and then everything will be uh, automatically can go. So uh, if you want to make uh, this kind of uh, the virtual studio, you can uh, imagine how easily you can make alpha from Photoshop and this picture you bring there and then another layer you can bring all, all the PowerPoint file or whatever you want. So uh, that way uh, we can continue. And the good thing is, there are many sites uh, who is selling After Effects template, like this kind of template. Then they have alpha, so you can put in the background picture while you are using this kind of texture and adding yourself to make a very nice video from our uh, MStudio system. Uh, this is an example where you can buy all the different templates, and this is one of the examples. We make many, many things. The last part is MStudio Smart PD. A smart PD means right now I'm not doing anything. For example, when I, when I just keep talking about my presentation. And then the, this presentation makes myself bigger because uh, they don't have to see all the details of these uh, things. They automatically bring. And when you keep talking about this, then also this is boring. That's why it's slightly changing like this. The background change, I mean you can make yourself a little bit bigger and then make uh, this kind of concentration um, for them. And then uh, again, they, they, they will bring like this. So this is all kind of automatic uh, function. So let's see what's happening here. If you look at the auto, auto setting, there is a scene change. There is a screen one, screen to change. So it's like I move the mouse, which means a screen two. So I, as soon as I move here, this is the mouse over, mouse move actually for, for each scene one, scene two, and screen one to see, so if there's no movement, they count the time and they move. This is our new pattern, how we uh, make these kind of things. All this setup uh, uh, we made, and also there is a program setup where you can make uh, this pointer. This is a, a very easy way how you make a presentation without anything. This is a real revolution, how you do presentation by yourself. So whenever you make a next slide, the presentation like this make a very, very beautiful way you can do. So uh, whatever you have a presentation, switching, mixing, virtual mixing, 
AR and also you can do titling so titling part you can make every layer you can make a titling so if I have a title on the camera this is uh, the title over here let me see what title we have here I believe I, I didn't put something but uh, uh, let me double check so uh, if I if I bring this on to this uh, real uh, environment so now the uh, the uh, camera so I, I select the camera and then the camera there is a uh, the text here is a text see what happens if if there is a text and then there is a titling so this title can go which means uh, if I if I remove the title here uh, for example here uh, because here uh, if I make uh, this title on, because right now I just make a title on by the PowerPoint slide, I will explain what uh, PowerPoint slide note means. Once you have a PowerPoint on the screen, and then if you click the title from, from PowerPoint, they will show like this. But if you have uh, 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 this title, unfortunately right now it's a Korean, but anyway, whatever you type there will show like this title. But right now I have a title from PowerPoint, and then if I click this PowerPoint slide, we have a screen so they can show. What I'm talking about is, is the titling because we have a PowerPoint preview because PowerPoint has many animations so we have to use this preview for example. And here we have a menu. There is a, there is a, a title prompter and also titling. So uh, from this one, if you, if you click here, I mean the, this part, then uh, the titling from from this uh, uh, this part coming out. So I will remove this PowerPoint preview uh, here. Then uh, it will show how the title is coming out. This is the title on 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 this part. Uh, the title, whatever you text. By the way, we have a four scene. Every four scene can have independent title. But right now, I just make a copy to all. It means every scene has the same title. So even even the scene is changing like I'm doing now. If, if you move mouse here, I mean, the, if this, op, this, fine, if this is editing mode, then there, there's no automatic switching. So if I turn off, then if, if I move the mouse over here, then I just make a mouse to bring the scene there. And then this scene still moving this title. See what happens if I move here. Uh, again, they are going. So which means we need a, a set to all command. So if I move here, when I have a title, we have to have a copy to all scenes. You have to press this copy to all, means this title will come out for all scenes. So let me see how it works. So when you move this uh, next scene, you see the titling doesn't change, continuously coming out on this. Whatever we change here, the title is coming out like this way. This is a the how the titling can go. You can make a title on this screen one, you can make a title here, you can make a title for actors. Every layer you can make your title using this method as, I, as like I'm showing. For example, when I bring the setup here, here we have uh, uh, the uh, actor or screen one, even anything like uh, this desk. Let's select the desk. And then in the desk also you can see text. So if you t type text, then this one will show on this uh, desk some, some title you can make. Something like that, you can make all the scenery very easily uh, from, from your scene. Let's bring the PowerPoint on this uh, screen again. So if I click this PowerPoint, PowerPoint is coming out. And then you can bring this one bigger. Uh, if you move the uh, mouse over, and then they will uh, bring this one there. So uh, M3 is a really vision mixer. Uh, another uh, concept of vision mixer where you managing everything by yourself. So I hope you uh, enjoy my presentation to uh, understand how easily, how nicely you can build a studio, how you make a scene, and how you uh, bring everything for your uh, for your uh, presentation. Again, uh, this is what uh, I'm trying to uh, make a. Uh, uh, presentation over the smartphone. This video immediately you can put in, uh, I mean you can broadcast over the, uh, the YouTube or uh, Facebook. So this is what we really want to bring this technology for everybody. Thank you very much.
Okay, and just a 